Sorry, I did not realize those Civil War pictures in my guest bedroom would freak you out so much. Yeah, I can't sleep with a photographic cemetery just staring at me. Well, the good news is that snoring will be kept to a minimum. So you want big spoon or little spoon? I think I prefer little spoon, but it feels like society tells hey, Chris, us that. Don't be gross, or I'll put up a pillow wall. Mom. Oh no, it's. That was weird. <laughs> She like think we're dating. That's <laughs> weird. No, she does. She probably just thinks I. I don't. I did not tell her that we weren't not. Did you not tell her I'm gay? Nah, she doesn't know what gay means. What? <laughs> what are we doing? What are you doing? I'm getting ready to sleep in your weird childhood bedroom. No. No, I know that look. No, I'm not, I'm not giving a look. When I told you to have casual sex, I didn't mean with me, dumbass. Come on. Is it really that crazy of an idea? Yeah. Is it the nose strip? I can, uh, crazy of an idea? Oh no. You're serious. Okay, that guest bedroom of death is looking real attractive. Wait, no, no, no. Hey, 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 look, 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 look. I'm, 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 don't make this weird. Look. I'm making this weird. I'm putting the nose strip back on. Oh, I made it weird? But like sexual preference aside. Aside, where are you putting it? You said you fucked up with a guy. One guy in college. I'm not gonna magically turn straight for you. What, what if you just like look at me as like a human sex toy? Oh, Jesus Christ. You know, like, I mean, lesbians use- No, Chris. I, mean, I don't, you can't Stop say talking. I look. Good night. And you know what? You wouldn't want to hook up with me anyways. What? Yeah. Because you shouldn't hook up with your best friend. It's a rule. Earlier today, you said you would have sex with a friend. The best thing about casual sex is that you can have it with a friend. Also, you probably have a huge... No, I said... An acquaintance, maybe, but we'd have to be on the same page. Do you want to listen to the Wicked soundtrack again? Yeah. All right. I guess I misinterpreted it. Yeah, clearly. It would just be so easy. Okay. You know? It's like we're, we already have so much fun together. We could still joke around. We could still hang out with each other and play, but then we could also do the most fun, most relaxing thing two adults can do together. Have orgasms. And no one will get hurt, and no one's gonna fall in love with anyone else. And I'll get over my ex-girlfriend, and everything will be perfect. No. Chris. That's not how it would go at all. Okay, this is how it would go. We'd both have to be incredibly drunk because that's the only way this would ever come up. Mm. And then we'd have sloppy, uncoordinated sex. Getting both of us very dissatisfied. And then we'd wake up in the morning and regret it completely. Our friendship would no longer be innocent and platonic. It'd be ruined forever. Is that what you want for things to change? Is that a no? Buddy, that's a hell no. You're my best friend. Me too. And if we could also have sex. Ah, uh, Chris, I'm gay. I know. Jesus I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. I had to try, you know, I had to try once. Like one time, I gotta try, you know? Sure. Hey, if I come up there to cuddle, this no one has more to do with me than it does with you. Hey, Chris. Yeah? If your hand goes anywhere near me, I will chop it off with your great-grandfather's Civil War machete, understood? Got it. Okay, good night. Is it the nose trick? It doesn't help. Mm -hmm.